Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me. Happy New Year. I am in the craft room making messes. If you've been watching my videos, you know I've got some that are lagging, so my scraps cleanup is just rolling out. And then now we're kicking off the New Year collaborations. So, bit of a mess, but I'm working through it. Volume-wise, I didn't make as much for Smash Our Stash this month as I would have dreamed, but like I've said a million times, this is my absolute favorite collaboration. I would not have gotten this stuff out, maybe not even this year, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> so I got my wood embellishments. Remember when those were super trendy? You've got some in your stash, pull them out. I had this unfinished object card sitting around and I put some wood embellishments over the top of the patterned paper and then I used a recent sentiment that I made. Had I planned the card, I probably would have popped up the sentiment, but I put it on and then I went, ooh, what about some wood embellishments? So just digging in using stuff. The wood ones are probably, like I probably need to have a focus for that. I had them sitting out because I thought, hmm, I should smash these. Happy birthday was a strange card that I had started and I added the happy birthday from my stash and I think it works. The brown stripe on here is a little weird, but the colors work. And then I added another wood chip. I was kind of thinking this might be a kid's birthday card, but I don't know, some of the that just likes monkeys would work. I didn't have any other monkey embellishments, but a heart is always good for your birthday, right? Hello friend, the owl had been sitting around and this was an unfinished object card. All of these cards were annoying me. Then I got out my enamel dots and started using them. My enamel dots, look how much like pinkish magenta there is in there. That's, <laughs> it's getting a little lean for me. There's a lot of blue uh, bling in there, but I did use some enamel dots. Enamel dots, again, they were super popular. I bought a ton of them. Use them up, need to use them up. Speaking of super popular, everybody had to have them. Do you have sequins in your stash? Here's where I stand on sequins. I have way too many. This did not dent my stash, not in any way. You would not come over to my house and be like, oh wow, I better not use them because she used them all up. No, I like sequins. I don't like gluing them on one by one. Some people came out with self-adhesive sequins, kind of liked those, probably used all those, don't have any left in my stash. I just also, I don't think about embellishments that much. Enamel dots, sequins, I have to remind myself or I have to go back or I'm in a rush to do my video. The other thing I was going to do for this video, and I should have, was gone through my finished box of cards and said, okay, what are some cards that have been sitting here a while and need a little something? Sometimes I get in a hurry, I'm making a video, and then I have a card that I know needed something else, but it ends up in my box. Another day, maybe. If you haven't seen me make these before, I will try to remember to link to a video where I have a tutorial on it. And anytime I forget to link, just tell me. These are shakers, very easily made. I am lazy. I don't like shaker cards. I like simple, simple. A cut apart, sequins, and a piece of tool sewed. It's super easy and they're fun. Be sure it's not one that is the prettiest down at the bottom. You don't want like a pot of flowers and then empty blue sky because when it's on the front of your journal or card or whatever you put it on, it might pile up down here and cover all that. So you can see I picked one, find joy in the journey, lots of room here. I'm living in the moment and I picked the shaker stuff that went with these collection packs. I literally stole these cut aparts out of projects that I think I need to do. So you should see these shakers on things in the future. Oh, I love this one. It was super gray and plain. Think happy, be happy. And I put flowers in it because there's flowers on the paper behind it. I don't know if you can see that. The only trick is the flowers are rubbery, so they don't shake really well. So I took a few more out. I'm proud and I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. The song plays in my head <laughs> when I say that. I love this one. Janie, what do you think? I got into the red, white, and blue stash and took this out of a six by six pad that needs to be smashed later. Uh, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. And again, lots of space at the bottom and a big font so people aren't wondering what it says and trying to figure it out. These do not take long 
and they are a great impact. Make some if you want. I'm going to be honest with you. They don't use very many sequins. If you put a teaspoon of sequins in there, it's probably too much. Unless you think mine could use more. And then, I don't know, maybe you'll use up your stash making them. Then I got out a couple things from that scraps video and decorated them. To affect the quality of the day, that is the highest of arts. That's Thoreau. I think... Nancy sent me that because I don't actually have that stamp. And then I added some paper I love and a sticker that came in Happy Mail. She's vellum. I didn't realize she was, but it works okay. You have the most amazing ability to take an ordinary moment and make it shine. That's the same quote as on this card because I was playing with those in scraps. And I had trouble because I didn't want to cover that up. It might not show, but it's fun paste. I may not be there yet, but I'm closer than I was yesterday, unknown. I just inked the edges. Embellishments to me are sentiments too, just embellishing things and making them better. And I probably wouldn't use enamel dots or anything on these because of sliding in and out of journal pages. I think I made, I don't know, what, 10 things? I've got five shakers, 11 things for Smash Our Stash. I hope that was inspirational. Don't be afraid of those. Hmm, what am I gonna do with those? Should I have bought those? This card probably isn't a great candidate to mail, but I could hand deliver it. I might be able to put it in a journal and mail it to one of you. It's cheerful, but this is a little thick, this one right here. And sometimes these break when you mail them. So a really big one like this probably isn't gonna look beautiful if you just put it in an envelope and mail it. You could try it though. Have a great time checking out the other videos in this collaboration. Next month is loose sheets of paper. Oh my gosh. I think I have two iris cases just of patterned paper that's loose and no plan. And you know there's more too. I can't wait to see what everyone else did for January. And this collaboration is super inspirational. So be sure and hang out with us all year long. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon. Bye-bye.